Hello, seventh grade. It has been a while and I'm missing you all. I hope you are doing okay and that you might even be enjoying some time at home with your family. I'm here at school trying to stay caught up, but it's not near as fun without you guys here. It's pretty quiet. What I want to do this week is we've been learning a lot about Native Americans through your presentations, different aspects from their lives. And I want to extend that this week to analyze word choice in history, as well as to talk about the fish wars. So first off, this video is going to focus mostly on word choice in history and how the way we choose to talk about things and write about things changes the way we think about them and that influences history. So I want to start out, start out, you see on my screen, I have a video ready to play. I want to play you a section from the Broadway play Wicked. It's about the Wizard of Oz and you see the Wicked Witch. But this clip is about history and how history is never facts. It's all opinion. So I'm going to start by playing that. But it's all just smoke and mirrors. And that's the truth. The truth is not a thing of fact or reason. The truth is just what everyone agrees on. Where I'm from, we believe all sorts of things that aren't true. We call it history. A man's called a traitor or liberator. A rich man's a thief. A philanthropist is one a crusader or ruthless invader. It's all in which label is able to persist. There are precious few at ease with moral ambiguities. So we act as though they don't exist. And then he goes into a big chorus. But I wanted you guys to see this clip because it illustrates this idea that in history, there are always at least two, if not multiple opinions. A man is a traitor or a liberator. And it all depends on the point of view. If he, if it's a revolution, for example, in the American Revolution, all of the American citizens were considered rebels by the British. But by the American people, they were considered heroes. It just depends on who is watching. Um, so we take this idea of there being multiple points of view and we apply it to American history during in Washington state when we were working with Native Americans, the government and them. And the way this period is written about uses some choice words. What we're going to focus on are the words discovery, as in the land was being discovered, savagery and civilized. These are interesting words in the writing because for a very long time we studied history as it as whites means civilized and Native American means savage. And this idea of discovering land that technically had already been discovered and was populated. But if it's discovered, no one's found it before except the people that already live there. So the way we write about things and talk about things affect the way we remember them. So it's important we're aware of these different perspectives. I hope that you guys enjoy going over the activities I have for this week. The first one focusing on word choice. And then we have the fish wars, which was touched on in a couple of presentations by, I believe it was Stevie and Nathan, talked about the right to fish. So we're going to talk about that right a little bit by the Native Americans and the different perspectives on who should be allowed to fish. <laughs> Okay, let me know if you have questions. Feel free to contact me. I have open office hours this next week, so look at your Google Classroom to see more on that. Let me know if you have questions.